Well, joining me now from Edinburgh is Labour's Ian Gray. Um, well, Ian Gray, as everyone in the Labour Party seems to have their own position on whether there should be a referendum, perhaps you'd like to tell us what you use as. Well, I, I agree with what Wendy Alexander has actually said, and what she said was this. Uh, if the SNP believe that the people of Scotland support independence, uh, then they should bring their bill forward to give the people of Scotland their say, not in 2010, but bring it forward now, and let's get this question out of the way. Both Wendy and I believe absolutely that independence would lose in that referendum. The fact is that Alex Salmond believes it would lose as right. well. What, and when, that's what, why he wants to put it off. What, what, what Wendy Alexander also said yesterday was that she, might, she was considering bringing her own bill for a referendum if that, uh, if that wasn't brought forward. And that she wanted a referendum, she tilled this programme last night, possibly within a year, 18 months. Well, she said it was possible to do that and that uh, when she was asked uh, what, she, what she would do or what Labour would do, uh, if the SNP simply refused to bring that referendum forward, uh, that a private, private member's bill was one of the options uh, which was possible. She right. didn't so say you that do she want... would do that, she said it was one of the <coughs> options. Right, so you do want to hold a referendum and you do want it held as soon as possible? What, what we want uh, is to have this question dealt with. I mean, I agree but, with but Ian you, McMillan you... and David Watt. Well, 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 we know you Gordon. want it dealt with. You want it dealt well, with by having a referendum, right? I, I, I want it, yes, I want it dealt okay, with. OK, right, we've got I want that it clear. dealt with for an important reason which uh, two of your contributors right. put to you, which is that the uncertainty... Uh, which uh, the, yeah. the fact that this question dominates yeah, yeah, we understand that. Course, does damage to now, Scotland. Can you cast any light on why Wendy Alexander's position on this, which you've just echoed, is not shared by Gordon Brown? Well, I, I don't accept that that's the case. I mean, he answered the question you was asked. Uh, the fact is that uh, David Cameron said, surely, uh, when Wendy Alexander said, bring it on, she meant have a referendum now. I'm saying to you that what she meant was to the, the SNP, if you are going to bring a referendum forward, yes, then bring it forward now, bring the bill forward Yes, uh, but she also Parliament. said quite clearly it was now Labour's policy in Scotland to have a referendum on in independence. Uh, a spokesman for the Prime Minister, on the other hand, said today, I hope we can see progress on the Commission, that's the Calman Commission, and we will review that progress before we make any further decisions. Yes, but these two things aren't mutually exclusive. The Kalman Commission has undertaken extremely important work. In fact, especially important work because my belief is straightforwardly that were we to have yeah, uh, a I'm referendum sorry. which asked yes sorry. or no to independence, I'm sorry. the Scottish people would sorry. vote uh, no. Hang, 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 on, hang on, Luke, I'm sorry. This is just getting silly. Now, to say, Luke... We are now in favour of a referendum as the Scottish Labour Party. It's perfectly clear and perfectly straightforward. That is not the same thing as saying we'll wait for the results of the Calman Commission and discussion of those results before we make any further decisions on whether or not we want a referendum. It just isn't the same thing. And you can't keep on pretending it is because this is just becoming laughable. Well, it's, he made very clear... Uh, that he agreed with Wendy Alexander that the SNP's position should be He did anything but make if clear they... that he agreed with Wendy Alexander. Well, I think they both said that today. You read an extract from a letter that he's written and she said that y too. Yes, I, I've just read you an extract from the letter which says something completely different. It says they, they agree that the hollowness of the SNP's position should be exposed. And that is what well, look, uh, Wendy if said at the weekend. I'm not asking you whether both Gordon Brown and Wendy Alexander agree that um, bashing the Nats is a good idea. Of course they do. The point is their position on having a referendum on independence is completely different. Uh, well, I don't think it is, and you asked Wendy Alexander that last night, and she said that, uh, that that wasn't the case. Sorry, I asked Wendy Alexander last night, have you spoken to Gordon Brown about this, to which her answer was yes tonight. I then mm -hmm. asked her whether he endorsed her position of, of having a referendum on independence, to which she said yes. Yes, she did. That's, uh, as I said, when she David did Cameron that. asked uh, Gordon Brown exactly the same question today... He said that's not what Wendy Alexander said at all. Well, because what she said was the SNP should bring the referendum bill forward now. No, no. When that I asked what her, she does said Gordon Brown endorse your position of having a referendum on independence, she said, yes, he does. 
but the, 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 she did say that. That's correct. And you know, uh, it, so I'm, the I'm position, sorry, I'm the position she now. put, at, the position she put, the position she put at the weekend was: if the SNP believe that there is a majority and they can win the argument for independence, they should bring the referendum bill forward now. They right. shouldn't delay it. There is no reason to delay I'm it. Beginning and I think to, I'm beginning to. I'm beginning to. As, as Labour is clearly having problems with English, but perhaps you might use another language, Portuguese or French or something. Well, I do speak Portuguese, so I can give that a go if you like, Gordon. Right, but the point is, in English, none of this is making any sense at all. Well, I think it does make sense. Here is the position. The SNP said, Nicola Sturgeon said yesterday uh, that she believes there is a majority in Scotland for independence. What Wendy Alexander has said is, if she really does believe that, then they should bring forward the referendum bill and have the courage of their convictions and test that. Right, I believe okay. that were they to do so that, over this. The, it would be demonstrated that, that, that in fact there is no not support what for right, independence. Look, is her position, as Nicola Sturgeon says, untenable? No, of course not. Right, in that case Gordon Brown's position is untenable. No, of course that's not true. Right, they so they're saying the, completely different things which are in fact the same and both their positions are completely tenable. Uh, well, I don't accept that, but what I can say to you is that Wendy Alexander certainly has the support of her shadow cabinet, she has the support of the group of Labour MSPs at Holyrood, uh, and she has the support of uh, a good number of Labour MPs in Westminster as well. Right. Now, what about this point that Ali, you heard Alex Ammon make there, that the parliamentary rules mean you can't introduce a bill of your own anyway? Well, I think his interpretation of that is, is wrong. What would, what would happen, and you know, this is a hypothetical, but what, what happens is that if a private member's bill is brought forward... Oh, it's a private member's bill, though. If okay. a private member's All right, bill I is brought that. forward... I I, if a I, private member's bill is brought, well, that was what. But the, that was the what point is, asked, that was whenever, what Wendy whenever the was SNP bring forward a bill, you'll have to vote for it. Well, we've said, and Wendy Alexander's made clear that we won't stand in the way of the people having a say. Now, now given that he controls still, the timing, well, 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 of course you've would, handed him all the cards, haven't you? Of course, we would still and have. And the card table and the casino. Of course, we would still have views, for example, about the, what the question would be. The all right, question well, contained we'll, we'll in their we'll draft bill is not one that would be acceptable. All right, we'll get into questions another time. Ian Gray, Luke, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Very quick look at tomorrow's uh, front papers. Labour implodes over independence, says the Scotsman. Brown cuts Alexander adrift over elections, says the headline uh, in, the, uh, in the Herald there. That's all from me tonight. You can see this programme again in the iClear. Good night. Thank you.